Dear online guests, welcome to Huawei Fusion Solar Smart PV Virtual Show. I'm today's host, Michelle. At the very beginning, I would like to thank you for your continued support and trust in this special period, and I would like to express my sincere regards to you and your family. Before the Fusion Solar Smart PV Virtual Show starts, we are going to listen to the welcome speech delivered by the President of Huawei Smart PV. Please welcome Mr. Chen Guoguang. Dear friends, welcome to our Smart PV Virtual Show. June used to be the exhibition month for global PV peers to gather together to celebrate progresses, to explore new technology and solutions, to extend connection with each other. Unfortunately, we can't make it this year due to COVID-19. I hope all of you and your family are staying healthy and safe at this moment. Thanks to the digital technology, we can still meet online and communicate without distance. We take this advantage to build up this virtual shoe and present to you what you would have experienced. This year, we have further integrated AI with PV to enhance the intelligence of our smart PV solution. We can't wait to share it with you and hope you can enjoy it. However, we understand that any online activities cannot fully replace face-to-face -face communication. We sincerely hope the pandemic will be gone and we can meet with each other soon. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chen, for the welcome speech. Huawei Fusion Solar has always been committed to bringing optimal electricity cost and activity safety to customers. Therefore, in 2020, Huawei releases several new product solutions, CNI new offerings, and a new single phase, as well as residential energy storage system and AI Boost Fusion Solar 6 Plus are all the highlights of this year. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Senior Marketing Manager of Huawei Smart PV, Mr. Xie Bing, to give us a speech on new product launch in 2020. Thanks, Michelle, for introducing. It is so great to be here and sharing with you the Huawei newest product releases. Let's have a look at video first. Firstly, let me introduce you the brand new 7226 KTL L1 Smart G Center. It has two MPP trackers, which allows it to be installed independently on those simple and neat rooftop. What's more, this second generation Smart G Center 
also has built-in MBUS communication, which allows it to work with optimizers directly. Battery ready, this is a great feature that we had on our first generation Smart Energy Center. And for our second generation Smart Energy Center, we will also have this fantastic feature. It is a high voltage DC coupled battery interface, which allows to expand to battery system by simple plug and play. Communication. Huawei Smart Energy Center has built-in YLAN as its default communication, but this year, it will also support Ethernet and 4G communication as optional, so our users will have more choices. Weight. The second generation Smart Energy Center also has a very compact design. It only weighs 12 kilograms, allowing one person easy installation. Next, let me bring you the second generation Sun 2450 watt P Smart PV optimizers. It is compatible with the Sun 226 KTL L1 inverters we previously mentioned and the Sun 3 to 10 KTL M1 inverters. One great thing about this optimizer is its one fits all feature, which means one optimizer fits almost all poly and mono PV modules in the market. So for our installer friends, they don't need to worry about sourcing different optimizer models to fit different PV module models. Because one Huawei optimizer can fit almost all PV modules in the market. The max power input voltage for the second generation optimizer is 450 watts, 880 volt. So any modules within this range can be easily connected. The max efficiency is 99.5%. And finally, in terms of the rapid voltage shutdown during installation or under emergency cases, Huawei's new smart PV optimizer can achieve zero volt quick voltage shutdown to protect people. And in terms of installation, the output cable of Huawei new optimizer is 1.2 meters, allowing modules to be installed in either portrait or landscape mode. Next, let me introduce in the most expected and exciting product, the Sound 2000 the Huawei Luna 2000 5, 10, 15, S0 stream battery. Like a stream inverter, with optimizers to optimize the performance of each PV module, Huawei's stream battery also has this fantastic and unique built-in energy optimizer to optimize the charging and discharging of each battery, battery module. Huawei Luna 2000 utilizes a modular design solution. Each battery module's capacity is equivalent to 5 kilowatt hours. And users can expand the system up to three battery modules, which equivalents to 15 kilowatt hours. And it also supports parallel operating. So with two sets of Luna to sell it, the total capacity can reach up to 30 kilowatt hours. And a great thing about Huawei Luna to sell it is it also has this one fits all feature, which means one battery model fits both Huawei's single phase and three-phase residential inverters. The power module on top can easily handle 400 volt or 800 volt high DC voltage coupled systems. And about battery chemistry, it is lithium iron phosphate. The charge and discharge power for one set of Luna 2000 is five kilowatts. It can achieve up to 10 kilowatts if you add another set of Luna 2000. The default installation is floor stand. Relevant floor stand installation parts will be included in the package. Users can also choose wall mount installation part, but it's optional. Rethink safety. At Huawei, we're always thinking about how we can bring safety of PV system to a next level for our residential users. We perceive that one of the key challenges we're facing is electrical arcing. Electrical arcing is an electrical breakdown of air that produces a prolonged electrical discharge. It normally occurs in unreliable soldered joints within PV modules, broken PV cables, or loosened PV connectors. The danger of electrical arcing is it can easily start a fire, and it is very hard to, de to detect. The arcing signal can be as small as 0.1% when compared to the normal current signal. For this challenge, Huawei has introduced the AI-powered active arcing protection last year. And with this AI model, or AI brain inside, Huawei Inverter is continuously self-learning new arcing features. And when real potential arcing risk occurs via its local neural network algorithm, 
it can accurately detect and judge whether, this, whether it's a real or fake arcing. And if it is real arcing, the inverter will shut down rapidly and immediately. The entire process from detection to make a judgment to shut down the system completely takes only around 400 milliseconds, which is well within 2.5 seconds standard requirements. Seeing is believing, so let's check it out. On my left-hand side is a real arcing simulation in the lab with, without AFCR protection. So we can see the DC arcing is continuously posing fire risks. And on my right-hand side, with the same electrical arcing, and if we turn on the AFCR function, we can see the arc distinguishes instantly within 2.5 seconds. So is that all about it for residential arcing protection? No. Today, we will bring you a brand new feature, the pinpoint arc fault positioning. We all know arcing hides below PV modules, but we do not know the exact location of it. So conventionally, it may take installers half a day to inspect along the PV strings for troubleshooting. But with Huawei's pinpoint arc fault positioning, our system will tell you the exact location of the arcing, so installers can well manage the troubleshooting time within only 30 minutes. Minimize the power loss caused by arcing system tripping. Resync yields. For complex rooftop with shadings, Huawei recommends our full optimizer solution. Optimizers can help to improve the performance of each PV module independently. And depending on the degree of module mismatch, the energy yields increase can be as high as 30%. We know that during the usage of battery module, degradation occurs. So different battery module may have a slightly different SOC. Or in another case, when you add a new battery module, the SOC of this new pack will be very different from the older ones. And if we do nothing in these cases, the performance of the new battery module will be limited by the older modules or the weaker modules. At Huawei, thanks to the built-in energy optimizer, now we can manage the charging and discharging of each battery module independently and precisely. So for homeowners, they can use the full potential of each battery module for more usable energy. Another great feature is a dual power battery ready feature. So for homeowners who purchase the 5 KTL Huawei residential inverters, if adding 10 kilowatt PV on rooftop with the help of Huawei optimized long string design, this 5 KTL inverter can achieve simultaneously 5 kW full power AC output plus 5 kW full power battery charge. So 5 kW inverter gets 10 kW output in total. It's a so very cost effective deal. Residential PV nowadays have many different components in the system like optimizers, battery, meter, etc. How to install easily become one of the key challenges we're facing. At Huawei, we're always thinking about how we can improve. Let's check out the video first. Firstly, for the optimizers, we managed to make it 50% smaller than its first generation. Thanks to its compact design philosophy, it can now fit in your palm and hold comfortably, helping you, helping you to start a very great day. Less than 5 seconds module auto mapping with AI. This is one of the best features that I like about our solution. Before the optimizer physical layout creation is all done manually, we need to relate the serial number to the correct module icon in the management system one by one. For a 15 kilowatt system, it may take up to 6.5 minutes and it may easily make a mistake by relating optimizer to a wrong PV module. But at Huawei, we're doing it all by AI. 
All you need to do is to take a picture of this template and upload to the management system. And with one click, it can instantly turn into your physical layout view, just like magic. And all it takes is five seconds. It can help save 80% configuration time for our installers compared with conventional solutions. One of the key system benefits for Huawei Fusion Solar Residential Smart PV solution is one fits all. One optimizer fits almost all poly and mono PV modules in the market. And one battery model fits both single and three-phase inverters. And one app can detect and configure all affiliated system components automatically. And one device scanning can register the whole system components in a smart PV management system. And one service window for all system parts, pre and after sale support. Finally, let's check out availability of our residential new products. Apart from our residential solution, today we also bring new product release for our CNI smart PV solutions. Let's check out the video. One million unit is an extraordinary number for the first generation CR9 inverter models. And today we would like to bring you the next generation CR9 inverter. The brand new Sun 2000 30, 36 and 40 KTL M3 Smart PV inverters. It has max efficiency of 98.7% and 4 independent MPP trackers with 8 inputs. And this brand new series inverters will still insist our natural cooling design and no fuse design ensuring its long-term reliability in the field. The max input current per MPP tracker for this inverter is 26 amperes, makes it compatible with bi-feature modules. And the weight is only 43 kilograms, makes it lighter and smaller than its predecessors, which is 63 kilograms. And today we aim at pushing boundaries to a whole new next stage. Resync safety. For full series CNI inverters, Huawei will have the same arcing protection that we had in residential inverters. But today, we'll bring to the next level the CNI enhanced active arcing protection, covering inverter models from 12 KTL to 100 KTL. In CNI PV plant, the system size may be as large as megawatt level. The PV cables that are connecting to the remotest PV module to the inverter may be as long as 200 meters. So with current UL1699B standard, the, the maximum arcing protection range is only 80 meters. In addition, some CNI plants utilize bifacial PV modules. The current arcing standards cannot cover as well. Now with Huawei CNI enhanced arcing protection, all this will be in a peace of mind. Rethink yields. At Huawei, we perceive that modules may suffer from PID effects, which may result in reduction of output power by 30% or even more. So what is the main cause of PID, PID effects? Industry st studies found that high humidity, high temperature, and contamination is external factors. But the potential difference between PV strain 
with regard to the ground is the internal key factors. Today, Huawei brings a built-in PID recovery function, which helps to secure the performance of PV modules. This PID recovery function is the standard feature that is built in Huawei CNI inverter models, including the 12 to 20 KTL, 30 to 40 KTL, and the brand new 100 KTL M1. So how does it work? When the inverters are off-grid at night, an offset DC voltage is automatically injected between the inverter negative PV string and the ground. This effectively increases the potential of PV strings with respect to ground above zero and reverses the loose power in the daytime. Resync reliability. For the new series, sound to sound inverters, Huawei insists on our classic no quick wear pass design. There is no fuse, no LCDs, buttons to guarantee the long term performance. And for the natural cooling design, it will also be a continued feature in our new class CNI inverters. For the communication part, apart from the smart locker, now our brand new a CNI smart PV inverter also supports the smart dongle. It can have a flexible choice of WLAN, Ethernet, or 4G. And one smart dongle can support up to 10 inverters, and it can be easily installed outdoor without additional protection. Lastly, the new product availability time. Apart from the new sound to sound 30 to 40 KTL M3, Today, we will also bring two new upgraded models with AFCI and PID function, the sound to sound 12 to 20 KTO M2 and the new sound to sound 100 KTO M1. And that's the end for my presentation. Thank you. In the next time, I would like to introduce my colleague, Joe. Continue the next part. Hello everyone, I'm Joe from Huawei Smart PV Marketing Department. Now I will continue to lead you through our solution in utility PV plants. With the rapid development of emerging ICT technology, such as the AI, cloud, big data, and 5G, and also in full consideration of the latest trend in power electronics, Huawei has engaged with experts in the field and released the now emerging technical trends for smart PV in 2025. The trends aim to drive the industry towards intelligent and great solutions and provide insight into the innovation and the soaring growth in the PV industry. Huawei expects the future of smart PV shall be developed, shall be developed in three major directions. The first is the digitalization. In the future, data will become the most fundamental resource for the digital world and all data in the PV plant, from modules, tracker, inverters, and etc., shall be sensed. So we expect that by 2025, only 90% of the PV plant will be digitalized. And the mass data will be processed with AI to help improve the system operation efficiency, which is previously performed with expert experience. We expect AI to be deployed in system design optimization, fault detection, solar storage collaboration, and more expects to, to make the system smarter. With these two digital foundations in the future, we believe the unmanned operation and the maintenance in the PV plant will be the mainstream. The drawers will be deployed for the plant inspection, and the assistant robots can help, re can help re uh, repair and replace devices with the remote control. We expect that by 2025, 90% of the PV plant will be unmanned and at least with less manual operation. The second is grid supporting. Currently, the installation capacity of renewable energy accounts for 10% of the total power plant, while the energy generation accounts for only 2% at this moment. In the future, as the renewable energy become the main energy source, its expect on the power grid will be enlarged year by year. Therefore, we expect PV plants shall transform from following the grid to actively supporting the grid. 
when the grid failure occurs, the PD plant shall not trip, and the output power shall be stable with the low harmonics in order to maintain the voltage and the frequency of the grid. The PV plus storage is expected to be a new trend for grid supporting. In 2025, we expect 30% of, of the new PV plant will have storage. However, the smart collaboration between the solar and the storage to improve the system efficiency will be another new project for the PV solution suppliers. And also, in distributed PV scenario, the virtual power plant is expected to become a new, uh, will become a most efficient way for small rooftop plant owners to attend the energy market, and at the same time, for grid operator to acquire support from the decentralized storage system at a, renew at a reasonable cost. The third is system and the component upgrade. With the, with the development of the material and the heat dissipation and algorithm, we expect the components in PV solution will be upgraded in three ways. First is the modular design. Since 2013, Huawei has been focusing on string water and the witness its advantage in higher use, simple maintenance, and the improved availability. This is the reason why we decided to stick to modular design for all devices in the future, like the solar inverter, the PCS, the battery, and etc., to construct to reconstruct the system architecture and the boost system efficiency. The second is the higher power density. The modular design is based on the development of material science, the heat dissipation technology, and the manufacturing techniques. In the future, as new materials like the silicon carbide and the gallium nitrate will be widely deployed in inverters, the large power capacity devices will be of acceptable dimension and weight and perform as a modular component. And we believe in the future, the devices, systems, and the networks shall be trustworthy. The reliability, availability, security, safety, and resilience, and privacy will become essential requirements in the future. So, based on the understanding of all, Huawei provides Fusion Solar 6.0 Plus, the utility smart PV solution. Consists of the 185 smart string inverter, smart iron controller for the data transmission and control, the smart transformer station for overseas ITS solution, and smart PV management system for real-time monitoring and management. And today, I would like to introduce our latest progress, how we deploy AI technology in Fusion Solar. The Smart Tracker Control Algorithm and the Smart IV Curve Diagnosis in fourth generation. And the last one, the Smart Grid Connection Algorithm. So Huawei, so Huawei we use AI Boost Fusion Solar Smart PV Solution targets to reduce LCOE and the support grid. I will interrupt the three key new features individually in the following pages. The first one, you know that Tracker can significantly increase the energy generation, and as the price goes down, more and more plants deploy Tracker to reduce LCOE. Currently, the trackers employ the astronomic algorithm to ensure the modules to be perpendicular to the direct sunlight. However, the uneven landscapes in the PV plant is not considered. The row difference can cause the internal row shading in the backtracking in the morning and the evening. And also, in cloudy days, the diffuse light accounts for a higher ratio than that in normal days and the tracking angle without optimization cannot harvest as much power when the light is guarded. Huawei integrates AI and the collaborate energy generation with tracking algorithm to optimize, to optimize the tracking angle through the recurrent neural network. Based on the mass data from the plant performance, Huawei optimizes the algorithm to best match the plant, and during the backtracking, Huawei adapts each row to avoid inter-row sheet and capture more solar energy. And when cloud rows occur, 
Smart control algorithm can sense the irradiation change and reposition tracker to harvest more energy. And what we introduced here is only achieved by the algorithm upgrade without any cost of additional devices. And we have tested this technology in PV plants in different latitudes all over the nation. And the results show, the, show that compared with the standard mode, the smart control algorithm can improve the energy generation by over half a percent. This technology utilizes standard interface and the communication protocol, and it's quite easy to collaborate with different vendors of trackers. So we highly welcome our partner worldwide to, exper to experience this simple and high efficiency AI improvement. And we also use AI to reduce all packs as well with as well with the smart IV curve diagnosis. This idea was a collaboration between us and our key strategy customer. We smartly combined the abundant O and M knowledge with the information and the communication technology and developed an online inspection and the diagnosis of all PV strain in a quick way. Compared with the conventional solution that uses the on-site sampling test and the time-consuming manual analysis, the smart IV curve diagnosis can largely shorten the time from weeks to half a day. AI learns ex expert knowledge and can accurately identify 14, 14, 14 types of strain failure, which is certified by TUV. This diagnosis can further provide troubleshooting solution to closed loop the O and M precise. This function has been deployed in 5 gigawatt PV plant worldwide now, and Huawei continues upgrading the algorithm to suit more and more scenario. In this year, the fourth generation can support diagnosis of the mono, bifacial, shingled PV modules. It is also compatible with the mixed installation of different PV modules in one string and the wide branch connectors. We provide license for this function and any customer with Huawei Smart PV solution, either for the existing or the new PV plants, are welcome to try this function. As the LCOE of PV continuously decreases, solar is, it, solar is expected to become the major energy source. According to the International Energy Agency's law, uh, outlook, in the near future, over 30% of the a new newly installed power plant will be the PV plant. However, with the increasing renewable energy construction scale, the SCR of the power grid is gradually reduced. The short circuit ratio is a typical in indicator to measure strength of the power grid. It can be used to measure the impact from the power injection from the PV plant to the local power grid. With increasing renewable energy, and the traditional generators like thermal power plant in some countries are withdrawing. We can find the SCR of some regional power grid will be lower and lower. Or in another way, more and more regions will face a new challenge of weak grid. The chart on the right is based on the Bloomberg's prediction of renewable energy penetration in several regions. It is expected that between 2025 and 2030, the SCR will be lower than 2 in some countries here. Huawei has been researching on the grid connection PV technology for many years and improving the control accuracy. Currently, Huawei has achieved a stable grid connection in all PV scenarios. The value of this technology for customers is that the set selection under the conditions of the changing power grid is not affected. The algorithm supports a stable grid connection in weak power grid with SDR down to 1.5 and improves the higher fault read through capabilities. At the same time, improves power quality by suppressing the current harmonics less than 1%. And uh, here are some testing curves. In the, weak, in, the, in the weak grid connection testing, the output waveform of Huawei inverters is still stable when SDR is 1.5. However, the output waveform of other string inverters are distorted when SCR is 3. The inverters can work only with reduced power or switch to shutdown for self-protection. 
in terms of the power quality, in a real power grid with the background harmonics, when THDU is about 4%, Huawei inverters ensure the THDI is less than 1%. In compression, other three inverters can barely achieve the claimed THDI of less than 3% in laboratory conditions. In a real power grid, in a real power grid the harmonics would search to 9%. Besides, in, <coughs> besides the testing result, we know, we know that the Australia's new standard in February 2019 is the world's most stringent power grid standard. Huawei helped our customers to get first admission to this new grid standard for 35 MW PV plant in Victoria. The pro time for this project is only half of other solutions. And in China, Huawei Sun 2000 inverter is the first to meet the new technical requirements for grid connected inverter, which calls high requirements on high voltage read through, low voltage read through, and the frequency adaption. And another real case occurred in northern eastern China in April this year. A grid fault of face-to-face -face short circuit occurred and led to the low voltage in this local grid. From the recording diagram, we can see that the central inverter in a 100 megawatt plant failed to low voltage read through and shut down for protection. Well, at the same time, another 20, 20 megawatt PV plant utilizing the Huawei inverters accurately identified grid faults and ensures stable operation after successful low voltage read through. What's behind this case is the SDR is getting lower after this 20 megawatt was grid connected. Okay. When only 100 megawatt PV plant was grid connected, the SDR was about, was about over two. With another 20 megawatts getting connected, the SCR has decreased to 1.85 only, which is typically weak. So what we learn from this case, for long-term PV plant operation in daily change grid scenario, a smart inverter with strong grid connection algorithm become particularly important. Okay, that's all from, for my presentation today, and thank you all here for your attention. We hope everything goes well, and we are looking forward to see you again face-to-face -face very soon. Thank you very much. Thanks for the words of Gao Chao. I believe the next part is surely long awaited for everyone. And please just follow Senior Marketing Manager of Huawei Smart PV, Fu Cong, to have a virtual tour of Huawei Smart PV solution on the cloud. Welcome everyone to the Fusion Solar Smart PV Virtual Tour. My name is Ethan Fu from Huawei Smart PV Business. And it is my great honor to guide you through the tour today. In the virtual tour, there are seven sections on demonstration. Section A is the Fusion Solar Smart PV Solution Global Case Video. B is the Utility Smart PV Solution. C is the Commercial and Industrial Smart PV Solution. D is the residential smart PV solution. E is the fusion solar management system demo. F is the green energy, green world part, including data center, eyesight power, and microgrid solution. And lastly, section G is the M power solution. Now, let me take you to section A first. In the fusion solar smart PV solution global case video, we can see several classic smart PV cases in utility, CNI, and residential scenarios. PV systems with Huawei Fusion Solar Smart PV solutions are all over the world, across blue ocean to golden desert, and are in diverse environments, from freezing cold to scorching hot. 
In addition, key features of a smart PV solution are also on demonstration. After you watch the video, let's go to Fusion Solar Utility Smart PV Solution in Section B. Here, we are in the utility solution part. Let's look at the overview for the solution first. There is a comprehensive presentation of utility solution key features. And down the bottom of the screen, we can find three AI Boost applications, as Mr. Gao Chao shared with us previously. The first block is introducing the principle and benefit of using Smart DC system. While the second block is Smart IV Curve Diagnosis Introduction. Lastly, Smart Grid Connection Algorithm is also explained thoroughly. Next, let's look at the Huawei Smart PV Inverters. Technology has changed life and also the way we see the world. So, with the virtual tour, we are presenting you inverters in 360 degree angles with zoom in and out views. Therefore, you can easily check out the exterior of inverters at any angle. Besides, the key features of a respective inverter are also shown. Lastly, there is an introduction of a smart transformer station in the last screen. Now, let's go to the commercial and industrial smart PV solution in section C. We start from the first screen down the CNI area. And we can see the challenges faced by current CNI PV systems and Huawei CNI solution introduction. As Mr. Xie Bin showed us before, here is the active arcing protection demonstration. Besides, features of active safety, high yields, maintenance-free, and smart IV curve diagnosis are also presented. One click on the respective feature will lead you to the detail. CNI inverters are also on display. The one you are seeing is the sound 2000 30 36 40 KTL M3, just published by Mr. Xie Bin. Next, let me take you to the residential smart PV solution in section D. Down the residential area, we can also see the challenges faced by current residential PV system and Huawei residential solution introduction. Like the CNI area, by clicking on the respective block, we can see the detailed introduction of active safety, better experience, and high yields. As you can see, residential inverters are also on the wall. And we can find the new released Sound 2000 226KTL-L1 inverter. Next stop for us is Fusion Solar Management System Demo in Section E. Here, we are in the Fusion Solar App and Smart PV Management System 7.0 demonstration area. Here is a short video about the Fusion Solar App features of local commissioning and plant registration. Moreover, we can explore the Smart PV Management System 7.0 down here. Each function is followed by detailed explanation. Under the case part, we can learn how to check yields and historical information. Now, let's go to the section F. Down here, iSight Power, Data Center, and Microgrid solutions are introduced. 
Firstly, let's look at the ISAT power solution. The ISAT power is widely used in safe city, smart transportation, park monitoring, oil and gas pipeline monitoring, and other scenarios. It consists of power and network integrated modules, lithium batteries, PV panels, cameras, and walls, providing customers with a one-stop outdoor video surveillance solution. Hereafter, we can explore the data center solution. Huawei is building a simple, green, smart, and reliable next-generation data center, but providing all module, all smart, and all lithium battery solutions that cover both indoor and outdoor areas, ranging from small-sized edge data center to medium and large-sized data center. Next, let's look at the microgrid solution. According to the latest data released by the International Energy Agency, there are still 840 million people with no electricity globally, who mainly reside in rural areas without traditional power grid. The Huawei microgrid solution is designed for electricity supply of these remote areas, with features of fast deployment, flexible expansion, and simple maintenance. Huawei microgrid solution being deployed to more than 400 rural villages is benefiting more than 300,000 people around the world. In the future, Huawei will continue to contribute more to narrow the di digital divide. The last stop for the tour is the M Power solution. Adhering to the deep accumulation in digital power, Huawei is committed to electrification and to taking digitalization boost green journey as our mission to help car companies build great cars. Huawei M Power has launched an end-to-end -end solution with the highlights of long-range, strong power, safe, reliable, comfort, and multimodal adaptation. Today, it is only a brief introduction of Fusion Solar Smart PV Virtual Tour. I just hope you have enjoyed it. After the virtual show, you can still access to the virtual tour via Huawei Smart PV Community website before 11th July 2020. Thank you very much. Thank you for spending time with us today. We are looking forward to meeting you next time. I will run, I will climb, I will soar. I'm undefeated. Oh, jumping out of my skin, pull the cord. Yeah, I believe it. Oh, the past is everything we were Don't make us who we are So I'll dream until I make it real And all I see is stars It's not until you fall that you fly When your dreams come alive, you're unstoppable Take a shot, chase the sun, find the beautiful We will go Dark turning dust to gold And we'll dream Impossible Possible ah. And we'll dream Impossible I will chase, I will reach, I will fly Until I'm breaking until I'm breaking out my cage like a bird in the night I know I'm changing
I know I'm changing it into something big, better than before. And if it takes, takes a thousand lives, then it's worth fighting for. It's not until you fall that you fly. When your dreams come alive, you're unstoppable. Take a shot, chase the sun, find the beautiful. We will go in the dark, turn into ice to go. And we'll dream impossible. Oh, impossible. Possible.